So, the Irish nation. It is the 1st of the 3rd, 2024. More so the Irish Republic, okay? Now let's give a brief history of the Irish people. Over 700 years of subjugation and oppression to the point where the language, the culture, the history was desperately trying to be removed by the British imperial boot. And the Irish fought for 700 years to protect and preserve their ways of life. And many people lost their lives. Okay. And now we have some crazy reason. Some stupidity going on in the Republic of Ireland. Oh, by the way, boys and girls, I am a nationalist and I strongly believe Ireland will be a united country one day again. I really do. We are one country, one people, regardless of the border that the British decides to stick there like they did in India. Right. Now you have illegal migrants in Ireland. Now you've got to think about this. How the fuck do illegal migrants get into Ireland, right? Because they're not coming by boat, are they? No, it's the government allowing this, right? And the Irish people are kind of a bit pissed off at the moment with the behaviour of these people and how they're trying to abuse the Irish people in general. And you see, these Islamists, I'm going to use the word Islamists, do not understand the fact that the Irish people were at war for over 700 years with the British. They're in a state of war to protect their religion, their culture, their history, their language, their way of life. That's what we did. And it's going to be a sad day for a lot of those immigrants when they realize what's going to happen because the Irish nation won't tolerate that. They're not going to have it. Just because the government's all fucking wishy-washy at the minute doesn't mean the people are. Big mistake. Huge mistake. It's a Catholic country. That's it. Full stop. End of. It's a Catholic country that was at war for over 700 years and that war proceeded to carry on in the north for another 50 plus years. Very stupid. Very stupid. The Irish people, you know, are renowned for, I'm half Irish, right? I'm Scots Irish, you know, renowned for having a good laugh and giggle and stuff like that. They're hard working people, but at the same time, they will not tolerate their language, their culture, their religion being trodden upon or people trying to propagate another faith in their country when they had to fight for over 700 years to preserve that. It's not going to be tolerated in any way, shape or form, you know, and it's fucking hilarious. But at the same time, the Irish nation supports the Palestinian cause because we understand what it's like to be oppressed, isolated, murdered, shot on sight, terrorized because of your religion. We understand that. But that does not mean we will tolerate another faith coming into the Catholic country and trying to propagate their religion. We won't tolerate that because we had to spend over 700 years plus fighting to preserve the right to have our religion and our faith and our culture and our language. This is something the people do not understand who are not from Ireland. Go to the north, right? Go to the north, go through the Catholic areas and the Protestant areas and they will tell you horror stories the Protestants were forcefully brought in to Ireland by the Protestant British country. Forcefully in. So they could have a foothold, a stronghold within a Catholic country and it devastated it. Devastated. Trust me, if Ireland now was a one nation, there would be no Protestants in Ireland. And if there were, there'd be far few and they wouldn't be very well tolerated. So for the Muslims out there, no disrespect, don't test the Irish people. 
don't do that. We would not think of going to a Muslim country and trying to propagate Catholicism or going to Saudi or any Arab country where there are no churches because they're not allowed because it's a Muslim country. Ireland is the same. We respect it.